Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, your number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition, we're going to be discussing statistics in trading part two. In our last episode, we discussed how to qualify turning points as a filter to validate technical analysis signals based on their intrinsic statistical properties of the normal distribution. In this video, we will continue developing ideas to improve the chances of success in Forex and crypto trading. Better Fibonacci Retracements and Extensions Fibonacci retracement is a prevalent indicator to evaluate retracement entry points, and a Fibonacci extension is also a popular method to assess potential target levels. It is based in the golden ratio, which comes from the Fibonacci number sequence. As you may know, the Fibonacci number sequence begins with 1 and 1, and then every following number is made from the previously added 2. As the number grows, a Fibonacci number divided by its previous number in the series gives the golden ratio, 1.61180. The reciprocal, a Fibonacci number divided by the next number, provides the golden ratio, 0.16180. 0.382 comes from the ratio of a Fibonacci number and the second next. 0.236 is the result of a Fibo number divided by its third next. 0.1459 results from the division of four distanced Fibo numbers, and in this instance we could go on forever. To these ratios, trading software adds the 0.5 and 0.75 levels, and the complementary and extensions. Now, on to the main point. It is hardly useful to have a forecasting tool that tells you the next retracement could end at any of these selected percentage levels, especially when there is no likelihood associated with any particular level. What if we could classify the retracements and assign them the probability of occurrence? Well, we can. We would keep a record of all the past retracement organized for the bull and bear movements, and then bin them in chunks of 10% and create a histogram. From there, we could assign a probability to each bin, or we could just take the average and standard deviation of all retracements for bulls and bears, separate it, and use the well-known probabilistic profile of the normal distribution to assess probabilities. That would also apply to extensions. By keeping track of every impulsive movement following a retracement, we can typify the behavior of the asset. We could create the average standard deviation of the last 30, 50, or 100 occurrences and create a statistical profile similar to the retracement case. In the case of retracements, we can see that the average plus 1 SD would be a very high probability entry point since only 16% of the cases the retracement went further down. In the case of extensions, the average minus 1 SD would be a sweet spot for the first take profit level. This is because it's the second and third average plus 1 SD. Stop settings. Up until now, we have discussed entry and exit points taken from a statistically minded perspective. What about setting stops in the same way instead of the obvious levels everybody notices, including institutional traders? Setting stop loss levels can be rather straightforward if we know the distribution of the prices. If the entry point takes place at the average plus 1 SD retracement level, the average plus 2 SD is a good stop level, as the likelihood of the retracement to reach it would be just 5%. We could even keep track of the history stops using John Sweeney's maximum adverse excursion concept to summarize it. The MAE method is a stop-loss setting system that tries to place the stops at the historical optimum level based on the past trades. The method tracks the price passed during positive trades to see the maximum adverse excursion taken by trades before moving in our favor. That way, we could detect the level beyond which there is a high probability that the trade will not be profitable. That is the optimal level for the stop-loss. For more literature on stop settings, I will include some links in the description based on maximum adverse excursion, the case for average true range based stop loss settings, and mastering stop loss settings. If you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below about anything you would like us to discuss in future or if you have any questions about this particular video. Have a great day.